First things first, go to Google and on the top you're going to go to gmetrics.net. After you're there, you're going to just log in. That's one of the most awesome usernames I've ever seen in my life. Now, with that said, after you've logged in, uh, you're going to go to tests. You're going to go to completed tests. After you've done that, it's going to tell you the score you've gotten on it, which this, this young man did pretty damn good. This tells you your score, your exact score. It tells you which objectives that you, you took and the points that you got wrong. So basically, when he had to create a document, when you click on points, it tells you create a document, apply a page color. He got everything right. Let's see what he got wrong. On no, he got apply height and width to an image. He didn't get that right. So here's what he's going to do. He's going to write that down in his notebook. Apply height and width to an image. So I would just write height and then I would write width of an image. Height, width of an image. And then I would alphabetize that in my notebook. And here's how you're going to answer that. You're going to highlight this information. You're going to copy it. You're going to open up a brand new browser in a different tab. On here, you're going to go to support.office.com. After you're on support.office.com, I, uh, what you call it? Let's go to uh, search. What you want to do for Microsoft Help is you want to paste the information that you just copied. So, I'm sorry. Uh, this is for applying a theme. I messed up. You want to do highlight, paste your inf or sorry paste your information in, apply height to an image, and you want to put, after you've written this information here, highlight, apply height and width to an image, you want a space, and you want to go to Microsoft Word, or just put Word, Word 2013 was the version, because other ones have a different tab menu. Now, when it comes into here, it gives you everything that's actually in the help menu, when you click on the blue light, this is all the information that tells you how to change the size, the picture format tools, the drawing, and what do you do, and what do you want to do. It gives you all different um, resized pictures in Word Art. This, this is a great link. I could write this down directly into my notebook as a resource for res resizing a picture. It tells me exactly what to do and to make dimensions physically, and I suspect you could do it, um, enter the numbers in numerically. If you really look into this, you write down every rule. This is how you do it. This is how you answer all of your questions. So let's go to another topic. All right, no problem. Apply a divot bevel. Okay, a lot of people struggled with that question. I know that for a fact. I'm copying it. I'm going back into my search results. I'm going to go into search. And now on here, I'll leave Word 2013, but I'm going to change the variable here. Oh, you stink. I'll put it here, Control V, add a divot bevel. It's Word. 2013. Enter a search. Bam. Uh, add a divot bevel. Divot bevel. I don't see it, so I'll hit Control F and I'll put D I V. Divot bevel. Word 2013. Okay. Well, where else is it? Here. No individual. This is a bad link. Bad link. And I'm glad that this happened because this is a poor search. So instead of apply divot bevel, I'll just put divot bevel. Search D I V O T B E V E L Word 2013 Divot Bevel Add or change the effect of a picture Word effects, word wrapping Divot Bevel Add or remove texts I'm struggling with this one This one I can't find a good place to get the Divot Bevel Alright, not a problem Oh, there it is actually Um you go into here, and there is bevel, and there's also going to be a divot. There's, and when you go under bevel, there's going to be divot. It's just not giving me the exact one. Outer, the show, glows, 
No, it's not giving me the divot bevel in here. I can tell you that for a fact. Let me go back. Uh, wrap affecting. Let's try this one. Nope. Not a good one. So here's what I'll do. I'll type in a search again. And I'll type in divot bevel. Let me see what else it can give me on what I don't know. Oh. Test results. Apply the divot bevel. Right. I'll tell you what, the divot bevel is a hidden menu as well. It's in the format menu. So that's a lot of the reasons why you're not seeing it. No, sorry. Let me go to search again. I want to find a good one. Divot. Search. Divot bevel. Let's try it without. Change the effect of a picture of the divot bevel, yes. No, no. It's the same one. It's the same link. There is bevel. At least you see bevel and you know that it is in picture effects, which is in, like I said, the format menu. This will help you. So basically, all right, it's not always going to be right in front of your face, but let's try one more. Let's see what else you got wrong. Formatting text. Okay, let me copy this. Once again, we go into support.office.com. We're going to go into search. We're going to put in formatting text, Word. He's doing 2013. Enter. Hopefully, this is a better search. Add and format text in Word. Bam. There it is. Here's an instructional video, and here is exactly how you format it. There is the home group where it has the, the font group. There's a dialog box in there, and it goes into everything. So you write this. Select the format you want. Double-click the icons. It doesn't say to roll over it, and it tells you the description of it, but that's fine. This is, this is a use, useful resource using Microsoft Support, Office Online, and using your test results. This makes you self-efficient, and you know even which number that you got wrong. So you make a table of contents, alphabetize these, and answer them alphabetically in a notebook. Good luck.